YouTube land. <laughs> My name is Gina Marie from the food blog veganwithcurves.com and today we're going to be making one of my favorite, favorite recipes. I said about all my recipes, but this one is really my favorite recipe. I mean, they're all my favorite, but this is like my favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> Fried oyster mushrooms. Fried oyster mushrooms are so good. Y'all like Oyster mushrooms in general are like the only mushrooms that I prefer to eat mainly whether I'm frying them or not I try not to fry them that often <laughs> But it's sometimes hard because it's so good that way But they're, they're really yummy. They have like a very hearty meaty like texture. They make a great substitute for fried chicken So without further ado, let's get into this cruelty free <laughs> recipe okay so here are our ingredients we have oyster mushrooms we have spelt flour we have water and we have our seasonings i'm using pink himalayan sea salt i'm using onion powder and i'm using garlic powder now these are what oyster mushrooms look like and they can be easily found at your local asian market Okay, so first we're going to assemble our wet batter. Um, it's just simply adding your spelt flour, your seasonings, and your water to a bowl and mix together until well combined. Now you can use any type of flour you have on hand. Chickpea flour works well for this too. It fries really well. Um, but uh, for this demonstration, I am using spelt flour. Now that we're done assembling our wet batter, set it aside and we're going to assemble our dry batter, which is pretty much the same way without the water. So you just add some more spelt flour to a bowl and you add your seasonings and you kind of mix them in together. And now for the fun part, <laughs> we're going to first batter our oyster mushrooms and the wet batter once. And then once we have that in the wet batter, we're going to transfer it to the dry batter one time. We're not going to double coat it because I find if you go back and forth between the wet and the dry and the wet and the dry and you fry them like that, you get this really thick breaded coating that's not really good i did this before I, I didn't like it It was just too much flour it was too bready so just coat it once in the wet batter and coat it once in the dry batter and that's more than enough to get a nice crispy outer uh, coating without having extra bread on top of your mushrooms because you actually want to taste the the tenderness of the mushrooms Okay, so we're going to traditionally fry this with oil. <laughs> I don't have an air fry. I'm sorry at the recording of this video. I don't have one, but um, you can try it in your air fryer. Um, but I can't guarantee you that it will work or not. And once the oil is hot, make sure that the oil is hot before you fry, just like with anything else you will fry. And then you add your oyster mushrooms a little at a time. Do not overcrowd because the more you add, the it makes the heat go down. It, 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 the oil won't be as hot. So just add a little bit at a time. Let it fry. Get an even coat on each side until it's like golden brown. Take it out, drain it on a paper towel, and you continue until all of your mushrooms have been fried. Now, don't these look so good? Like, I'm, I'm telling you, is once you try this recipe, it's going to be hard not to want to eat it all the time. But um, after you're done frying them, you add them to a paper towel, you know, to kind of drain the excess oil off of them. And you can season with some salt. I highly recommend seasoning it with additional salt. I like my pink Himalayan sea salt. And some dry parsley. And that's optional. And voila, there you have it, this yummy fried oyster mushroom recipe. Now you can serve this as a main course, 
um, using the fried oyster mushrooms as a substitute for like a fried chicken recipe dinner or you can serve it as an appetizer with different types of dipping sauce this recipe will satisfy trust me you will be making this all the time or at least you will want to but just try not to because it is fried food <laughs> Now I'm betting that you guys really enjoyed that recipe. I know I enjoy eating them, I enjoy cooking them, and I enjoy watching it over and over and over again because when I stop myself from eating those tango fried mushrooms, I just look at the video and be like, man, this ain't going to my waistline just watching it. <laughs> As always, if you like that recipe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, you get the drill. I gotta go because those fried oyster mushrooms are calling my name. Like a 90s rapper would. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and. Let's say Twitter. <laughs> Facebook! There you go.